today's video I'm going to show you some new additions that I got um, to the collection and what my plans are over the next couple of months with this reptile room and uh, some, some breeding plans that I uh, plan on setting up. So first of the new additions we have this stunning little Aki monitor that we think is a female so hopefully we kind of prove it out to be a female uh, as she gets older we can kind of tell it's quite small so she's just currently in this um just just exoterra there's a 50 watt arcadia bulb and there's an exoterra uvb tube there that is getting upgraded to the arcadia um uv as well but yeah uh, she's a little cracker she's so she's so feisty like one minute she'll be sitting there happy out next minute bam she'll catch you like so She's a bit, of, a bit of taming up, a bit of trust building with her, but uh, I look forward to it. Just a simple setup, a couple of logs, uh, nothing, nothing too bad. Just want to make sure she's eating everything like that. So she is whacking back uh, crickets and locusts and uh, some wax worms. So we get a bit of size onto her and then we start pairing her up. Um, I'd say in a, a year and a half time, maybe, maybe two years. We'll see. I don't like to rush things. I like to get nice and slow. Really? Was that necessary? Shit, mummy, thanks. Next up for the newest additions, we have Franush, this big red foot male. So he's he's after joining the, the collection. He's an absolute unit. He's class. He's about three years old. Um he's uh definitely male, he's starting to get the uh concave plaster on underneath. Um so we now have a trio of red foots. So he's in there with Plamka and Kropka, uh, our two other females. Um, he is quite bigger. Um, I think he had a good start in life. You know, all the right, right bulbs, right, right setup, right food. So the last one has really looked after him well. So I'll continue with that now. Um, and I need to put a bit of size onto the other two females. And then in a, maybe, maybe another four or five years, if they plan on, like if they, they decide to breed, they breed. You know, I'm I'm just happy to keep this uh, species there. They're pretty fun to keep. So to give you some sizing, that's the size of him. He's about two, I think he's about three years old. Um, he was well looked after by his last owners. Um, Aaron over in Dobbs started me out with this lad again. So big shout out to Dobbs. Uh, compared to like our small little Kropka, she's, um, she's a bit, Bit smaller than for her age, but uh, with a good diet, she'll um, she'll uh, she'll get it there. So this is the new rack um, I purchased recently. Um, just picked it up here in, in Lidl. It was only like forty quid, so I said it'll be handy for the smaller tanks. So I have the Cresty over here, the Anol, uh, the new Aki monitor. These are empty, and then I have the the Grass Lizard, the Sakashima down here. Um, just some plants there. Uh, I do plan on filling these three with some micro geckos. Um, so we might go with some electric blue day geckos, maybe yellow headed gecko, um, maybe a pair of dark frogs, something small. Um, I am planning on getting some more uh, Sakashima grass lizards. Um, I'd like a little uh, breeding group of them. They're really fun to keep. But uh, yeah, so up here, I just have a, one of them four foot uh, UVB bulbs um, from Exoterra. It does need to be changed out. Um, I did have the knoll um, up in a different enclosure, but I haven't seen him eat uh, or drink, so I put him into something smaller just so I can um, keep an eye on him. And then, as he, you know, once I know what he's eating and drinking, then I can move him into something a bit bigger. So same with the Cresty. So this Cresty is now he's he's going to get an upgrade. He's after putting on. Um, a good bit of size to him so I do plan on upgrading him into this bigger Exoterra and I know I said I wasn't gonna you know pair them up but I've seen a few uh, Mars that I do like so I, I'm, I'm thinking of picking up maybe a female Cresty over the next couple of months but you know it's just if I if they breed they breed if not no no worries like I, I just love love the colors on him he's really popping now he's really getting some nice reds and some flames on him so uh, yeah we'll see what happens with that so the next upgrade is gonna be for Big Red, the, the Red Aki. Um, this is a four foot long, but it's one of them slim, I think maybe a foot, foot and a half deep. Um, and I just think it's, it's he's outgrowing it. He 
is growing like a weed. So I'm gonna go five by two by two to match the bottom tank. Um, and then when she gets a bit bigger, she's gonna go into this tank. And then hopefully when the both of them are around the same size, they'll go in together and uh, we'll pair them up. I am looking out for another maybe one or two females and, and get a, a breeding group going. So yeah, they're getting, so the Aggies are gonna get the five by two by two and we'll upgrade it there. Um, the bulb was just after blowing in this, so I just have a little clamp there just for the video. So this is the Chihua Gecko. So I'll just throw the other light on to it just so you can kind of see it. Um, so the Chihua Gecko's in here. Um, looks to be female, um, but I'm gonna leave her grow out another small bit um, so we can kind of get, get a better you know, understanding if it is male or female. And then I'll pair them up because I absolutely love the Jewels. So in this enclosure, we do have our three baby uh, morning geckos. These are absolutely tiny. They're all hiding away now at the moment, but they are going to just stay in that for another, I'd say another six, seven months, uh, depending how fast they grow. And then might go then, I'll upgrade them to you know, one of the 12 by 18s enclosures. Um, yeah, but they're they're so active at night. You know, they're they're smack, smashing back. Um, the the complete diets. Uh, I think it's the Komodo. I'm using the Komodo uh, diet and this this stuff here, and they they absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, they're happy out. Um, I do plan on getting some dart frogs as well. So they'll probably go into um an vivarium with the dart frogs. So the plan for next year is we're hopefully purchasing a, a new house um, and hopefully have room for a big shed out the back. And then I'm gonna have, you know, my own reptile, a reptile shed, reptile room. Um, so the plan is there, is on one half of the shed, it's just gonna be floor to ceiling full of tanks with my geckos and stuff like that. And then I do plan on having a big walk-in enclosure for the redfoots. Um, I'm gonna try to do um, multiple species uh, given the fact that I have it's such a large area, it's going to be heavily planted. Um, it's going to take a lot of time to get it up and running, but uh, it's been something that I've, I've wanted to do for years and years. Um, so I'll be putting a lot of time into doing all my research in which species are going to kind of cohab um, in that big space. Like I, I do, work, I love working with smaller species, so I, I'd like to have like you know, in, in one side like a, a tree that's going to have knolls and one side like geckos running around and maybe some frogs and then you know the red foots on the floor so it, it'll take a lot of planning um and a lot of a lot of thought needs to go into this but um super excited like you know i'm starting the planning soon enough for it and then you know i'm going to document the whole loss and uh, i'll keep you all updated with it um but yeah let's uh, say look if there's any any videos or any animals that you want to see uh, drop a comment down below and uh, i'll try to get it up uploaded as quick as i can